Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's June 22nd, 2023, and I'm down here uh, next to the canal system that I put in last year. And in some videos, you see that I've removed uh, this <laughs> this beaver dam that they put in here. But because we're, we're in a drought, even though we got 1.6 inches of rain recently, and this area gets pretty moist, well, this is an area where I, trans I transplanted a lot of... Um, uh, swamp white oaks in those tree tubes there and I transplanted some gooseberries some horseradish some uh, thornless blackberry plants along in there and What the beaver have done is they really raise the level of this uh, My spillway so this is a spillway which goes across and it goes down to the lowest uh, beaver pond down here uh, on our property and they really raised the water level here and they're cutting in trails over here and uh, and the reason that I actually like this being raised temporarily uh, this would be a big issue if I don't remove it before winter when the big rains come uh, is it maintains the water level so much higher that all of these plants that I transplanted in here can wick up the moisture and not drown all these little spots here that you see in here there now the raccoons have been digging up a lot of the turtle eggs uh, and the foxes have but this is all uh, turtle eggs uh, first couple weeks of June all the turtles are laying their eggs horseradishes doing pretty well here and uh, so T and I one of the things we enjoy doing is coming down here in the evening we take uh, um, Suki the uh, Kubota RTV uh, uh, 1100 down here to sit and watch the beaver and watch the wildlife down here. Uh, we'll watch the beaver <laughs> going back and forth and, and sealing up the poor spot. So one of the things we, we've you know watched is when it's really, really wet time of the year, the beaver will let the porosity of the dam walls leak more. But as the drought starts to uh, increase, they start to plug up all the little holes and really seal it off and raise the height of the dam some. Uh, but I'd never known of beaver to remove some of their own dam. And since last year, since I put this canal system in, down around in here, the beaver have gone ahead and uh, this this is this is the roadway. This is a lower uh, lower uh, beaver pond. Upper beaver pond is up there, and this is one of the dams that they build, and they opened it up themselves. Well, it was at nighttime, so Thea and I drove through with Suki going in here, and I completely bottomed right out. The axle just fell right down in the, in that spot. And I thought, gosh, there must have been some washout at some point. But what has happened is, even though this is all stone wall that I put in here, not only did the beaver take out the dam wall, they dug down deeper and dug this a canal through this area to maintain this as part of their, their extended pond system. Uh, pretty darn amazing. So I can't drive across here now. Fortunately, I had four-wheel drive and I was able to get out from being stuck here. But I thought that was fascinating. That's all stone wall, good-sized rock. You could see some of them they flipped up here, but they dragged good boulders out over in that area. All stuff that I'd excavated, you know, with the track loader and the excavator. So these guys are quite ingenious engineers. Just amazing. I thought that they had just opened up the dam and it was just the, my, my standard spillway going across there. And you probably can't appreciate it on this ca camera and all. But there's actually a canal they dug through there. And there's no water going through there. It's just being maintained at this one level. Due to... Oh, I just saw a baby beaver. So this is the area that the... Uh, oh... I didn't finish my sentence. Due to the new uh, dam that they built, the first thing that I showed you over the spillway there. So this lower beaver pond here is where I'll see the babies sometimes. Little, tiny little 
uh, beavers. Uh, I'll see the muskrats in here as well, but I see the muskrats over there more often. But every night we see the same beaver right up over in here. So this is one of their, their pathways going from one beaver uh, pond to the other. Big old bull, bullfrog sitting out there floating. We see all sorts of uh, bird species out here fishing constantly and uh, getting the little bugs. And right now it's about three, oh, don't know what's going on with this camera, 3.49 p.m. And we'll see if one of the beavers is up here now. A little bit early, but they do start pretty early down here. And what he does is he just works in here back and forth, diving down, getting more mud and vegetative material, and packs the walls all the way around here, the sides. You see some of the places around here. Hopefully this is showing up. And they just pack and pack and pack all around in here. The, uh, the herons are all fledglings now. Uh, we'll see them uh, standing up on the nest waiting for mom or dad to bring back some fish for them. And I have been working over on base camp, the, the newer property that we built the road to last year. And I used the, uh, the new direct drive brush mower on, on the Hulk over here working recently that that was part of the video not the best camera angle but you can't have a camera outside with that brush getting thrown a couple hundred feet but these are spillways down here there's a spillway there and a spillway there and they're dry because the beaver have sealed up these walls these damn walls Now, I don't know if they leak on their own or if they come back and open them up. I'm beginning to suspect that they come back and open them up. And our goslings, uh, the, the uh, adults are bringing the babies down here. Uh, and that's pretty fascinating. You see all the goose droppings here on the roadway. But I'm not going to go any further over there to the uh, base camp right now. But I thought I'd share that with you. I thought it was fascinating that when the beaver decide to expand to expand their their uh, ecosystem, I haven't ever seen this before, that they'll actually uh, build a new dam in our spillway, take apart one of their own dams to allow more water to get to that area. Uh, seal the dam walls because I can hear the porosity. I can hear the water. Had a biplane going over now. I can hear the water flowing through the uh, dam walls uh, most of the time, but I can't hear it now with rare exceptions, very tiny places I can Here's some water flowing. And they seal up all these holes. And then they had the ingenuity to dig a canal so they could get more water to that location. So here, this is another one of the little spillways here. And this is one they haven't completely sealed. And the other one's right over here. But the rest of them, going under the roadways, I think they're all sealed up. I can no longer hear the water flowing through them. Now certainly as the water level rises, there is increased porosity of the dam walls as it gets higher as, as a engineering design on their part so that the, it doesn't break free one of their dam walls. So 
I just find this stuff fascinating. I'm always learning more uh, as time goes on. And uh, this is one of those things that we want to preserve places like this uh, for future generations and make the, I'm sorry, make locations like this educational sites where people can genuinely appreciate the marvels of the creatures that inhabit this plant with us, uh, their benefits, their natural uh, needs, their their habit, their uh, habitats, uh, their activities that they do, and what their requirements are. And I'm still learning at this point. So that's it for this video. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you found if you found this video video of value. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye now.